seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. You'll never have the sacred stone. <laughs> oh, this you crazy mother. Now for the shoes. Uh, how are we gonna do these? Let's go to here. Yes, let's go here. Shift A, cube. Clipping is off. Scale it down. And for the shoes, we're just gonna make a simple shape initially. Uh, so we're going to bring these down and we're going to grab these two edges here and scale them on the X after we bring it back to the medium point with period. Select medium point SX like so. Yes, we want to bring it down to that. And then we want to bring it down to a point like so. And actually, we want to bring these forward a bit because we don't want these shoes to be so big. We can bring this down. And then we hit Control R, add an edge loop in there, bring it up with G, hit Control R again, bring that close to the ground, and we can. Let's X this, scale it out like that. And what else do we need to do for this right here? We can bring that. Three. G on the X or the Y rather. Bring that up just so that he has a bit of a heel. And we might want to scale these. What we do here is go back, 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 back. There we go. Okay. Then, control B to bevel that. Again. We'll do this, that's why, bring these out. Or actually, we'll bring this up. Turn off proportional editing. We'll bring this up. And we'll bring this up. So you want to add an edge loop here. Bring it down like so. So you want to get in between here and add another one there. And then you want to S to scale it in. You want to add another edge loop here to reinforce it, add one down here to reinforce that, and then add another one down here for this one. And then to further enforce this edge down here, this is a hard surface modeling tip, I to insert and boom. So that is a sharp edge there. W, shade smooth, and there we go so now what we want to do is we got these here for his straps so we will shift D to duplicate these P to separate make a different selection or make it a different object tap into object mode or edit mode over here and we want to add a solidify and we want it to go negative just a little bit though there we go and there we go uh, so now we can select this and select the object control L so we're in edit mode with both objects selected this is a new thing that you can do in the new blender uh, Although, 
It doesn't seem to be allowing me to move him. Okay, good. So, let's try this one more again. Boom, there we go. Uh, and then we move it over, like so. And then we can rotate the feet in. Clipping's not turned on, so don't be too concerned about that. Okay, and then we want these to go back some, like so, and then to top it all off, move these socks down, turn off proportional editing, move these socks down. Okay, and to really sell it, <clears throat> you want to, you know, shape the socks over the shoe. And again, I want you all to note just how simple and fast uh, this, this stuff is. Okay. Boom. There we go. Now, Sonic has these two dingamabobbers on his shoes. <laughs> I don't know what those are. Uh, but what we can do is we can tab into uh, object mode here uh, and we can we can do a couple of things but thing that we're gonna do is shift s cursor to world origin shift a add a plane tab into edit mode we're going to inset this to about there, X, delete the faces, A, S, Y, S in general, uh, and then we're going to rotate it on the X axis 90 degrees, and then we're going to rotate it on the Z axis 90 degrees, bring it over here, hit 3, scale it down, Move it over, R to rotate, and then keep scaling it in the 3D view until it looks right, until we got it about where that strap is. Okay. Now, if you look at it, it has an indentation up here. Okay. So, <clears throat> what we can do is we can extrude it and then with these selected G twice move them in like so and you can hold shift uh, and what we're gonna do we can just add a little extra detail here hold shift Okay, and then, you know, just place this on his little strap here. Now, we can probably make these shoes a little less classic Sonic-esque. but I like it. And you want to actually shade that smooth as well. Uh, and we can add some edge loops in here to hold the integrity of the lines.
it just looks better. At least I would say so. And then uh, you can add a mirror modifier. Okay guys, so uh, the most tedious part of creating Sonic is modeling the head. Uh, so we will do that in the next part. Uh, so uh, thank you guys for watching. Please subscribe for more Blink tutorials and I will see you in the next one.